In this video, I'll show you a game played by Motoji Hanamura and Yasuharu Oyama. This game was played on 10th of September 1962 in the third term Oi title match. Oi title match is played by 7 game match, and this is the fourth game. And Oyama had won three games at that point. Yasuharu Oyama, the 15th Eternal Meijin, is famous for being a master of defense. He often plays marvelous defense moves that no one else can even think of, and he often turned the table and won losing games or often brought his opponent's attack into an exhaustion. Oyama is famous for being a ranging rook player, but he originally was a static rook player. So you see, Gote, Oyama is playing static rook. And now, Hanamura makes a very rapid attack here. Well, this is an exciting game. And he brings his rook to the central file. Oyama took the pawn. Well, it seems it's a close game, and here, Hanamura made a decisive attack. It's knight 4e. I'm not sure this is a good attack. He'll lose material, but his intention is to exchange the bishops here, and give a powerful attack. He uses a dangling pawn, and yeah, this striking pawn is a pretty powerful attack. Gote can take it, of course. You have this bishop drop. So the gold draws back, and then he dropped a bishop here. Well, this bishop drop is also a powerful attack. Taking it is out of question, because this promoted pawn is too powerful. But, this bishop is aiming at this knight, and if he simply defends it, the bishop can promote to here, and powerful attacks such as pawn 4c promote or horse 7a. So this bishop drop seems to be difficult to defend, and well, this is where Oyama's marvelous defense move was played. You know what that is? It's bishop 1b. Well, this bishop drop looks strange. It's only defending this knight and doing nothing else. So it seems to be not an effective way to drop a bishop. So Hanamura played bishop 6a promote, and now Oyama's bishop drop becomes a splendid move when it's combined with his next move. It's king 3c. It defends this square from pawn promotion, and simultaneously the bishop is aiming at the king! Incredible! 
Hanamura fixed his silver wall. But now, silver 5F, Sente has to defend here. Knight 5E, and pawn 4F. Well, suddenly, now it's Oyama who is making attack. Now what should Sente do? He has to do something before this pawn gets promoted. Well, dropping the silver here is useless. See? So, Hanamura dropped the silver to here. Well, he's aiming at this attack. See? So, Oyama made another good defense here. It's Bishop 3D. If the horse escapes, now the king is too safe, and Sente has no way to attack. And also, taking the bishop is not good either. The king will be safe, and this silver will become useless. So Hanamura made another powerful attack here. It's silver 2D. And... He abandoned the rook too. Taking it with the bishop is not good. See? So he took it by the king. And in this situation, I think bishop 3d is a pretty interesting move. It aims at this pawn promotion and this silver simultaneously. See? It seems pretty good. But Hanamura didn't play bishop 3d. He played bishop 2d. Well, this is also a powerful attack. But well, his attack seems to be exhausted here. And now Oyama got his turn to attack. And he's almost winning this game. Hanamura deliberately takes this promoted pawn by the horse. But well, the situation doesn't change. Oyama is winning this game. Oh, and this pawn drop to block is a good move. You should learn this tactic. If you just take it, he'll then drop the gold. He's aiming at silver or bishop drop to here. And finally he gave this fatal blow. Knight 8f. And Hanamura resigned here. Hope you enjoyed this game. I'll present many other Oyama's games in which he made marvelous defense moves. So see you next time.